What's going on, pool owners? Ray here with First Time Pool Owners Group. I know it's been a while. A lot of you guys have been wondering uh, where are all the videos, right? So I wanna give you a little background on what's going on in our world, right? Uh, so earlier this year, our family launched a brand new brand called Exploring Florida Waterways, where we go out and we explore different uh, places throughout the state of Florida and highlight those travel destinations. So, you know, a lot of our time has been going into getting that brand off the ground. I think we're at a position right now where that brand is officially up and running. So we wanna get back to doing this because we really enjoy obviously bringing you guys as much information as we can regarding pool owners. So again, for some of you guys that haven't watched my videos before, I am not a pool professional, uh, which is one of the reasons why we started the pool group many, many years ago, because we wanted to use it as a way for us to interact with other pool owners and really learn about that whole pool owner experience. But anyway, guys, really, really pumped about today's video. Uh, you know, it's interesting because many of you guys know we've been using Sutro for over a year now, we've been completely satisfied with their product. But interesting enough, there was another company that reached out via YouTube because they saw the Sutro video and they wanted us to test out their pool monitor. So we're like, heck yeah, you know what? Send it on over, we'll, you know, we'll test it out. We'll give you guys a fair, unbiased uh, review on the actual product. So here we are today, getting ready to show you guys what's in the box and hopefully we can get everything all set up on camera here and show you guys this product. So again, this product is actually made by a company called IO Pool. Uh, again, I've never used it before. They reached out via YouTube. So, you know, we're excited, right? This is what we do. We like to try out new products and show you guys an unbiased review. And like I said, this is no knock on Sutro. We still have our Sutro unit. We still use it every single day right? Uh, we've had it for over a year, zero issues whatsoever, awesome customer service. But again, let's see how this IO pool system stacks up against Sutro. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So again, we are looking at the IO pool eco here. I can tell you right now, I have not done much research on the product and I've done, I've done that on purpose because I wanted to make sure that when I put this video together, you know, that I was looking at it from a fresh set of eyes, right? From a new owner's perspective. So again, uh, one thing I will say is this sells right now online for about $250. Uh, looks like included in the package, you get the monitor, you get the Bluetooth gateway, and it looks like you also get some test strips and a start guide, uh, you know, that guides you through the process. Uh, a couple things I just found out online is the fact that it is not recommended for salt water. We do have a salt water pool. Again, this was sent to us as a test. We're gonna test it out in a salt water anyway. I'm assuming they're not recommending it for salt water because there's probably some sort of probe or something in the actual monitor itself that perhaps they might be afraid of corrosion, but we're gonna try it out anyway and let you guys know what that experience is about. Uh, a big difference between this unit and the Sutro unit so far that I've been able to acknowledge or recognize is the fact that while the Sutro unit requires a monthly membership, this one here does not. Uh, and according to IOPool, uh, this has about a two year sh shelf life. It does come with a two year warranty and they claim that this monitor will last you two years. So again, if you do buy one of these, just plan on replacing it in two years. Um, the Sutro, we've had it for well over a year now. It comes with rechargeable batteries, etc. So, you know, I can tell you right now that the Sutro does have a longer life, which is probably why it's much more expensive than this particular model here. Uh, you can get this one for half of what a Sutro costs, and then the Sutro does have a monthly membership. But again, right off the bat, I can tell you uh, a little disappointed that it is not designed for a saltwater pool but we're gonna try it. I'll let you guys know what happens after, you know, over time utilizing it in a salt water pool environment. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's get this thing out of the box and see what we're looking at. Let's get out of the box here. I can tell you right now, right off the bat, much, much smaller than the Sutro unit. Um, a lot smaller, actually. Uh, looking at the design and the functionality, it does appear that this is more in line with the functionality of Finn. So prior to us having Sutro, before Finn decided to close his doors, 
we had fit for many, many years and we were satisfied with it. We were okay with it. So again, just looking at this here, uh, it is actually even a little smaller uh, than the fin used to be, but it seems like the technology is the same. We got this out of the box here. Uh, we can get the little Bluetooth Wi-Fi gateway out of the box and I can show you what that looks like as well. So this is the problem when you open up things for the first time on camera. Sometimes you look like a fool trying to get these packages open. Like as you can see here, I've been spinning around this box now for a second. How the heck do we open? All right, uh, there it is. Alrighty. So again, little tiny box actually reminds me a lot of Finn. Uh, you got the little box here, you got the antenna. Um, surprisingly, what they don't give you is, they give you a USB cord, right? But they don't give you a little, the adapter or the box so you can plug it into a wall. You know, it's gonna be, I don't know if their intentions are for somebody to uh, plug this into a computer, but how often does anybody have a computer that just st stays still in the same spot, right? So again, so we got this here, and then we have some test strips. All right guys, so finally got the little guide out. Looks like the first thing they want us to do is they want us to download the application. So let me grab my phone and let's right, So we have phone in hand. We're gonna go ahead here. We'll see if I can turn this around and we'll scan it. Yep, we're gonna search for Eco Pool or Eco Start. All right, so interesting enough, it took me to a Google search. We're gonna try that again, just in case. I wanna make sure I'm not doing anything wrong here. So, let's see here. Interesting. So, the little QR code here actually takes you to a Google search of their product, right? So, IOPool, if you're listening, right off the bat, you might wanna make this QR code open up the application from either your download section or perhaps you might want to integrate it with the app store so when you do scan it uh it takes you to the actual application not a google search I guess i i guess i could put down the little guy now we are going to go to the apple app store here io pool okay so i found the app so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna download it. All right, so that's downloading right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the app did download. So it says update is available. Uh, looks like the first step is we are gonna have to set up an account. So bear with me while I set up an account here. And it does look like you can sign up with Google, so that's a plus. I was able to create an account rather easy using my Gmail. Um, the first thing it wants to know is if you want to turn on notifications. So we're going to go ahead and say, yep. And then you go into the screen that says, welcome aboard, let's start. Uh, continue. So it looks like after you hit continue, it wants you to configure your pool. So we're gonna go, so we're gonna select swimming pool. We'll put a name for our pool. Uh, pool type. So we're gonna go ahead and select in-ground pool. And situation, it wants to know if it's an indoor or outdoor pool. Obviously ours is outdoors. Uh, it wants my address. I'm curious to know why it would want my address, but you know, I guess we can do a little bit of research and find out. Oh, so interesting enough, it says that once again, it says that obviously it's not recommended for saltwater pools. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just choose chlorine. If I try to choose salt, it says IO pool is not currently compatible with salt pools. 
All right, guys, so again, as I mentioned in the beginning, this does not support a saltwater pool. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try it anyway because I want you guys to get a sense for what this thing can do. Um, we're not switching from Sutro. Obviously not now even because this is only designed for non-salt water pools, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch it to chlorine, rectangular pool. Uh, next thing it wants to know is the pool capacity. So our pool is about, we have a smaller pool, so it's about 11,000 gallons. So we're gonna hit next. All right, you gotta make sure that you have your Bluetooth enabled. And then it says to use the test. All right, so it looks like now it wants me to scan the barcode that came with the little test strips. So add test strips to your stock, yes. Okay, so it looks like it just wants me to confirm. Do you have an echo? No echo linked to your swimming pool. Press here to start the connection. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go downstairs close to the pool. We're gonna find another box, a little box, so we can plug this thing in, obviously. So we're gonna have to do a little digging around. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna head downstairs and we're gonna show you guys how to do the remainder of the procedure. All right, so as you can see, I was able to find a little box here to plug in their monitor. We are now down here. It looks like now, so now it wants me to take the Eco on my hands, flip it upside down, and then flip it upright. I could hear the thing beeping. So I'm assuming it's going through some sort of activation. Yep. And sure enough, we are going through some activation. So now it says that Eco has been activated. Let's hit the prepare Eco option. And it wants me to remove a cord below it to remove the ballast. So if you notice below this thing, there's a little like string, nylon string. So it wants me to pull that to activate. So I'll hold this down. All right, so now that we've done that in here, I don't know if you guys can see the imagery here, but next step, I'm gonna hit next after I removed it. Now it wants me to pull a little insulating film that's around it. I've already done that ahead of time. I guess this is why we read directions before we get all crazy doing things. So we're gonna click next. All right, so the next step now is it wants me to remove this lower cap. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna pull this lower cap. It's kind of weird how it's asking us to do all that. Pull the string, then the cap, but I'm sure there's a reason why and we're about to find out. All right, so now what it wants me to do is it wants me to take that cap and put it upside down. Wonder why they make us go through all this. So as you guys saw, the cap was actually installed this way. It wants me now to flip it upside down. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip that cap upside down. As you can see here, you flipped it upside down. Those little holes are now exposed. And obviously that's what's gonna allow the water to enter the probe. So let's click next. Now it wants me to take that little cap that I removed from the bottom and put it back on there. I'm just gonna take this cap here put it back on the bottom. And as you can see there, the cap is on the bottom. I am so sorry if this uh, video comes out a little weird. It's kind of hard to hold the camera on one hand and do this. Hopefully by me walking you through it, you can kind of get an idea of exactly what the process is. But as you can see here, the mobile app does tell you exactly everything that you need to do and follow. So now that we got that little cap on the bottom, Let's go ahead and click next. And now finally, it wants me to drop it in the water. So let's go do that. Let's get this one in there. All right, so that is in the water. And now we can hit finish. Looks like the next step guys also is we have to connect the hub with the Wi-Fi network. 
So we are going to go ahead and follow that process. This is actually starting to remind me a lot of Finn with their little test strip calibration at the beginning. So what I'm going to do as next steps, I'm going to do it off camera. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use this card. I'm going to dip the test strip. I'm assuming it's going to probably want me to take a picture of the strip and submit it so that, you know, they can basically uh, look at the calibration. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. I'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that just about wraps up our IO pool eco pool monitoring uh, unit unboxing. Uh, we are now officially in the water and we are finally getting some test results back. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell you right now, even though our pool needs a little bit of attention, we've gotten a ton of rain here. Uh, it does look like uh, things actually are very, very close to the readings that we're getting from Sutro right now. Again, only time will tell and I'll be sure to come back on here and give you guys, you know, some feedback and future updates on this particular product. Uh, looking at the app, the app seems very, very user friendly. I got to tell you guys to set up probably looks more complicated on video than it really is. The app does a good job at walking you through all the steps in the setup process. But you know, right now I'm also seeing that it's actually recommending treatments as well. So it'll tell you exactly what their recommended course of action is in terms of accuracy. I don't know. Again, only time will tell. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to do so. Uh, follow us on Facebook. If you're not on our first time pool owners group, on Facebook, please be sure to find it and join. Uh, definitely a, a useful group. Uh, we have over 46,000 members right now um, and tons and tons of useful, helpful information on there. So again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll be sure to keep uh, updating you guys uh, throughout the next couple of months with new fresh videos. Again, we do apologize for taking a little bit of time off. But once again, you know, we just had another area that we needed to focus, but we're officially back again. Please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.